um, one of the things I found out during during computer science education week and, and even even a little bit before before now is we already have students at Blythewood Middle School who are coding, who are interested in coding, who've done some on their own. Um, a lot of them have used resources like Code Academy and Khan Academy and begun to teach themselves and, and, and sometimes their friends are working together on coding projects. And that's something I didn't know about until this year. I didn't realize we already had coders here at Blythewood Middle School. And so that's very exciting for me to know that um, we do have students who are pursuing that and I hope that um, uh, Computer Science Education Week and the Hour of Code will help us build on that and, and you know, take, get more coders and, and let the coders we have do more and more. Um, in I thought the Hour of Code was really awesome because it's something new I haven't tried before and it might be something I want to do when I get older because it had to do with computers, which is what I really like. Well, I like that it gave me a new experience to create something new and experiment with it instead of doing somebody else's work. Well, in seventh grade, all the classes did um, a program called Lightbot, and they actually became um, computer programmers where they had to code um, the game. And it was really cool as a teacher. I, I watched them throughout the room. It got very quiet. It was highly engaging. They were trying to figure it out on their own. And um, so it was very self-paced. Um, it required perseverance, and as they figured it out, you could hear one of the kids say, oh, I got it, I got it, and um, they would go to the next level, and so they accepted those challenges, and they loved to be being challenged. Then the other kids who were a little bit um, more challenged at a certain level, then they uh, went to the experts, and they um, helped each other. So it did become collaborative, um, became very um, energetic as, the, as each class went on. Every class loved it. And um, today, after their test, they had a choice. They could do Lightbot, they could do another activity, they could do their homework, and many of them chose Lightbot. So I think that's a good testimonial. So the Lightbot game we played was really fun, but it got pretty hard in um, some points. It was a lot of trial and error, but um, I kept trying because the motive was I knew there was a um, there was a solution to it, so if I just kept trying, then I could eventually rearrange the code to um, correctly light up all the squares. And yeah, so I thought it was really fun and I liked it because it was challenging, and at the end I felt very successful. It was really fun, and almost everyone in my class enjoyed it while we were doing it, and it seemed like everyone that I asked about it liked it. So a new thing to Blythewood Middle School. Um, I'm really excited about it. Really, I think it went really well yesterday. I've heard lots of students say they had a good time, and, and my observations in my class students enjoyed it and, and learned a lot from it and were, and were successful. Um, you know, I started when I started programming many, 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 many years ago, um, around this age or maybe a little bit younger. Um, it was a lot more challenging. Not not that the Coding was more challenging, but it was more challenging to s do something that was you could see interesting results from. You know, the coding kids did yesterday; they're able to move, you know, Angry Birds and robots around the screen and, and draw pictures. And getting seeing something, you know, that dynamic and that interesting on the screen. When I started programming was a lot more challenging to get to that point where you could do that. So I think uh, the kids are lucky that they were ab they're able to, you know, learn coding at a time when, you know, they can do such cool things at the very beginning. 